hello guys in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create this awesome looking bridge also i'll show you how to render in eevee enjoy and welcome delete the default cube by hitting x and delete as an object hit shift a to add a mesh add a plane scale that plane along the x and y axis to get a good rectangular shape then hit tab for edit mode and control r to add a look at the center select that face and delete it add a mirror modifier and on the mirror modifier check that box on clipping touch on hit control r and add a look at position along the x axis up to that point add another look at and let, let that one be towards the center near the center that is up to that point and so done with that hit shift and right click to position the cursor there add a cube still in edit mode scale down that cube to get a good size and grab it downwards along the z axis Hit number part 3, select that top face and extrude upwards up to grab it outwards along the x axis up to that point. Extrude again along the z axis upwards and grab it inwards along the x axis till those two meet there grab it downwards to make it a little bit shorter shift and right click to position the cursor there add a circle still in object mode go to front view and extrude those vertices downwards along the z axis extrude and move the cursor left and right till you get a good shape here i didn't use any scale i was just moving the hand hit number pad 3 and select that face extrude upwards so that it can hide those pillars go to object mode by hitting tab place the cursor there by hitting shift and right click add a mesh add a plane and for this plane rotate by 90 along the y axis Grab that plane upwards and scale down along the z axis just a little bit. Grab it again. Then you can scale that plane by 10 along the y axis. Make it fit along that bridge by grabbing. Edit mode by hitting tab and add loop cuts. For this, on that box, I'll choose 70 loop cuts. Add two more loop cuts along the z axis and position them right there. For this plane, I'll add a modifier, and this time it will be a wireframe modifier. I'll change nothing on this setting, so I'll apply that one. Created those kind of wires. For the plane, I'll give it a gray color. Make it more shiny by decreasing the roughness value down. Make it more metallic. Hit Z2. You can see it's gray. And for the old bridge, I'll add a blue color make it dark a bit select that face for the bridge and give it a new material and for the base color I'll give it a black color drop the specular value down up to that value and assign selecting that face by hitting select and shift hold on shift 
add a new material and for this one I'll give it I'll change from principal to an emission shader that one for the color I'll give it a pink and drop the specular value down give it a strength of 6 go to side view and select that face select one of the face for the bridge for that pillar that one and hit L for linked faces hit shift D to duplicate those faces grab it along the Y axis up to that point duplicate again and grab it right there add a modifier and for this time I'll give it an array modifier that at 0 for the X and and 1 for the Y give it a number of count of 20 select that plane tool add a modifier an array modifier and let it start at 0 on the X and 1 on the Y the number of counts let it be 20 this makes it to be one long plane hit shift D and duplicate that plane along the x-axis to the other side up to that point we now have a bridge it was just a simple bridge not a complex one but it looks pretty cool for a bridge one last thing I'd like to do for my bridge is go to that film icon and check that box on bloom you can see it's all pink for the color for the mission I'll give it a warm blue shade 